the topics of my presentation is a simple elbow dislocation. The simple elbow dislocation is uh, an acute loss of articular congruence of the elbow joint with no concomitant fractures apart from small periarticular avulsion 1 or 2 mm of diameters. The direction of the dislocation to, uh, about the distal humerus can be in uh, uh, posterior with the, when the coronoid rests behind the humerus, anterior when the humerus rests behind the ulecan, and divergent when the dislocation of the elbow and proximal radioulnar joint. This is the second most commonly dislocated major joint in adults after shoulder, increasing rate for adventures and traumatic sports. Uh, the frequency is between the 11 and 28% of the, all traumatistic, and 51% uh, are simple dislocation. Odisco, in the first years of 2000 years, described the three levels of dislocation. We start from PLRI or posterolateral rot rotator instability or subclusate in a posterolateral rotatory direction. Number two is uh, um, a perched, the coronoid is perched under the trochlea. And number three is the complete dislocation of the coronoid behind the humerus. The mechanism of pathophysiology is the valgus external rotation, rotation theory is a falling on the outstretched hand with the elbow extended and consists of external rotation moment at the ulno-humeral joint and an internal rotation of the humerus against the forearm and the hand which are stabilized by the ground. The ori circle is a sequential soft tissue disruption from lateral to medial. It starts from the lesion of the lateral ulnar collateral ligament, continue with the anterior capsule and posterior capsule injury, and, con and after that we continue with the lesion of the posterior bundle of the medial collateral ligament and the anterior bundle of the medial collateral ligament. At the end, the lesion can progress to the common extended tendon lesion and the common flexor pronator tendon. This is a picture. Can you see the intraoperative review of the lesion of the attach of the lateral collateral ligament? And I show you on the cadaver the very important things of the uh, function of the uh, LUCL. When they attach, you can open the joint, and when you attach the collateral ligament on the lateral humerus, you can see that the congruence of the joint is is uh, uh, done. The valgo is an extension theory is another theory. Initial step in this case is an hyperextension of the joint with the rupture avulsion of the medial collateral ligament of fractures of the medial epicondyle, especially in pediatric patient, and hypervalgus movement in extended elbow. Initial disruption of the anterior portion of the anterior band of medial collateral ligament. In, um, in general, so the soft tissue injury begins on the medial side. Like in this case, that you see the medial collateral ligament intact when the, the flexion during the flexion extension of the the elbow in the cadaver show the perfect congruence of the joint. Of course, sometimes this ligament can be disrupted and injured by the uh, falling on the ground. Sometimes we can have associated lesion, the literature to indicate that most injury patterns fall in two groups, the posterolateral dislocation, in which soft tissue disruption initiates and is more severe on the lateral side of the elbow. Health UCL is the most common ligament injury and should be surgically treated to recover the stability of the joint. In other hand, the posterior medial dislocation, rare, in which in the injury and it is more severe on the medial side of the elbow. 
In general, for most simple elbow dislocation, the injury led the start with the medial ligament avulsion and continued to complete avulsion on the common extension origin. Other associated lesions can be the brachialis muscle and triceps, nerves, ulnar nerve in principle, but second is the uh, anterior interosseous nerve branch of the median nerve, brachial artery and forearm joint. Which is the, about the um, reduction maneuver? The reduction of the elbow joint is done under narcosis. The operator push against the olecranon with the thumb while the finger traction to the distal humerus in opposite direction. After reduction, test of stability was performed to evaluate the residual instability. Uh, a very important assessment of stability after reduction. Patient is, is positioned in the supine. On the, on the table, abducted arm placed on the support and forearm in vertical position. Under the control of the image intensify, we can uh, see the in lateral projection as eventually the presence of the drop sign if the joint is open, evaluation of the flexion extension stability at the different degree of rotation and forearm, valgus stress and varus stress in, in, in anteroposterior view, and pivot shift test. In case of uh, uh, dislocation of the elbow, the first time is to do the reduction, reduction in narcosis. After that, the elbow can be stable or unstable. If the elbow is stable, we can continue with assessment of stability after reduction, fluoroscopic control, and if it's stable, we can perform with a single in brace to stay um, to stay to stabilize the elbow for one week or more. If in unstable, we can perform a surgery. In case of unstable elbow, we can do an MRI to evaluate the ligaments or directly we can uh, lead to uh, the surgery. It's very important that in case of non-operative treatment, it, uh, it must be remembered that the better outcome with early mobilization from literature, so the elbow must uh, move. Uh, of course, the inch brace is must uh, take in place for 7-10 days, no more, and for good, good uh, functional result, can you, you can use a semi constraint joint brace associated with early mobilization. In case of surgery, we can use two approach, the cocker approach for lateral approach in case of uh, uh, lesion of the lateral ulnar collateral ligament and the Hotchkiss approach for medial collateral ligament lesion. The, in this case, we can, you can see a lesion completely of the medial collateral ligament and the reconstruction with the graft. And uh, in other case, in the other case, in the lateral part, you can see the rare touch of the lateral ulnar collateral ligament with transosseous suture. In the, in the place of transosseous suture, if you want, you can use the anchor. Is the, the result is very similar. It's very important to speak about complication. The residual instability is the most important complication in literature about 5-10%. And the second is the pain, 80% of early mobilization experience at contractures and other heterotopic ossification. This is one of the most the complication, uh, recurrent instability after 20 days with the, the um, uh, dislocation in cast, so we decide to do perform a surgery to reattach the lateral ulnar collateral ligament. Other complication is the autotopic ossification, as you can see on the lateral side, lateral to the radial head. In conclusion, we can say that the uh, lateral ulnar collateral ligament is the most frequent lesion in simple dislocation. It may be treated surgically to avoid residual instability. Reduction of the elbow joint should be performed under narcosis for easier reduction and better evaluation of ligament tension. Assessment of instability after reduction, the elbow should be maintained the joint reduction during complete range of motion. Early mobilization is the aim of surgical and non-surgical treatment of elbow dislocation. 
Thank you for your attention from Modena.